Well, I want to face Mars. And the rhino governor of Utah demands that Utahns not be jerks with the fraudemic finish line in sight. And no one says I call it the fraudemic. This is a fraudemic update. Originally, I was thinking of making this a rhino update. But after reading this <coughs> over and over again, I decided it's a fraudemic update. It's, there's so much double talk in this, it's unbelievable. Speaking at his weekly Wuhan flu briefing, Cox laid out the state's current success in battling the Wuhan flu, but asked that Utahns finish it out with class. What he's really saying is, if you don't want to wear a mask, keep your mouth shut and stay home. Because we'll read on here. Look, I know it's been a really difficult year, as I know these issues around the fraudemic cannon and have been divisive, said Cox. But please act with respect to your fellow human beings. Cox, in particular, focused his condemnation on Utah residents who still refuse to wear masks and act out when forced to wear one. Uh, so, Governor, you wouldn't like my little song that I sing. No more masks for me and you. We're not afraid of the Wuhan flu. Much of this is fraud, it's true. Don't be afraid of the Wuhan flu. I guess you wouldn't like that, now would you, Governor? Well, screw you. If you go into business and they're requiring to wear you, you to wear masks, wear masks. Right, so mask is off my face if I'm there. Oh, mask won't be off our faces here in the uh, People's Republic of New York forever, so we'll be on our faces until I drop dead of a heart attack induced by the mask or whatever. Don't yell at the clerk. Don't yell at the store manager. Don't make a fool of yourself because you don't want to wear a mask. In other words, don't stand up for your rights. That's what this rhino is uh, saying. While the state is targeting a date of April 10th to drop its mask mandate, Cox reiterated that masks will still be required in many locations, including restaurants and stores. So he's not dropping anything. This is what I mean by uh, fraudemic. On one hand, he says the state's dropping his mask mandate. On the other hand, you're still going to have to wear them. Businesses absolutely have a right to require masks, and if you don't like it, go shop somewhere else. All right, so next place, wear a mask. Next place, wear a mask. Screw you. But Governor Cox, why don't you just join the Democratic Party? You're a rhino, and I don't think you have probably a single Republican bone in your body, so why don't you just join the Democratic Party? And quit screwing up the Republican Party. Conversely, if you go into a restaurant and the table is closer to yours than maybe what you think, don't yell at the waitress and tell her that you want people six feet away from you. Promising his wife, Abby, that he wouldn't use his farm words, Cox was blunt in his expectations of those who live and work in Utah. You don't need to be a jerk with the people you come in contact with. Local restaurant owners were happy. Cox had their backs. Mimicking or repeating what the government says, I hope the respect thing comes into play as more and more places do take off the mask, said Sean Miller, owner of Park Cafe. This is crap. Listening mask mandates means uh, you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. If some stores require me to wear a mask, mandate has not been lifted. I know there's some things, shirts and shoes, all right. Yeah, you do have to wear those. That's been in place forever. Everybody understands. Most people understand that. 
That's going to be something that's definitely touch and feel as we go. And what I've said with masks right now, but I think it does help customers feel more safe when they are being served by someone with a mask. No. I find it kind of creepy, actually, but... Cox also has sharp words for those who choose to ridicule residents to stand on opposite sides on how to stay safe during the fraudemic, especially those who vocally oppose wearing masks. There are some people who want you to know, wear masks for much longer, don't mock them, don't make fun of them. They're likely protecting their lives and the lives of others. That is a lie, Governor. You lie like a Romulan dog. For the most part, masks don't do anything. The governor believes what will help uh, get Utah through the fraudemic is doing it together as a community and not every man, woman, and child for themselves. So, here we are. You're going to wear that mask for free and ever! We have to treat each other with respect, alright? This is not a free-for-all. We live in a society... Where we should care about one another, said Cox. God, this guy isn't just a rhino, he's a commie. If you don't care about all the people, then don't go to places where all the people are. Oh, for crying out loud. If that isn't the biggest friggin' insult. At the end of his comments, Cox also held himself responsible for admitting that he, like others, was wrong in certain aspects of the fraud demic. We've all made mistakes through this. We've all been critical of others when it turned out our side was wrong. We could do so much better. We go together. This is commie speak, basically. This guy isn't just a rhino, he's a commie. Jesus. Excuse me, Governor. I don't appreciate people... Man, dang, I have something on my face that I know is screwing up my breathing. I know it's screwing up my breathing because every time I put it on, I have to struggle for breath. Unbelievable. I wonder if there's something called a rhino C, a rhino as in communist. I never just call him a rhino for now. Oh, well. I think this is Fraudemic Update number 68, if I'm not mistaken. Getting up there. Won't be all that much longer. I'll be up to 100 Fraudemic things. This is all BS. This is why I was thinking is, uh, these states really aren't opening up. They're just pushing it off on the businesses and saying, man, eh, we're washing our hands of it. This is all BS. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching, now I'm getting riled, so I better quit.